Welcome to unit number two, James chapter one, verses seven to 15. Students, this week we're going to review prepositions. We're going to review a me, the verb of being, and also the future tense. Now you might ask, well, why are we working on these three items? Well, that's because this is what you're going to confront in the text this week. And so I've designed the workbook to review those grammar items that you're going to confront as you're working through your translations. Now the slides are provided for you to review Mounce's grammar, or you feel free to use the grammar that you uh, learned Greek with in your intro course and your intermediate. So if you want, the slides are there if you would like to use those. Basically, these are the same slides that we use in the uh, uh, intro and intermediate Greek courses when we teach you from uh, Bill Mounce's textbook. Lastly, you're going to see something very interesting in the shell. It's a morphological analysis and it's provided for you for every verbal to help you see how a finite verb, a participle, or an infinitive are all formed. So I think you'll find that very helpful as we get started and as you begin to confront these, these forms that uh, look a little strange to you. So have a great week and uh, when you get down toward the end of the week, there is a video that where I actually translate the entire passage for you. And I want you to resist the temptation of looking at that first. You're better off if you wrestle with the text first and then when you get stuck, go ahead and watch the video and I'll walk you through every verse in the book of James on those videos throughout this semester. So have a great week and enjoy reviewing the prepositions, Amy, and the future tense. <music>